Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Thank you so much for joining me for another planty video. I hope that you are all doing well. So today I just wanted to show off some foliage that I have really been admiring and appreciating. In one of my recent videos, I was saying how I feel like I'm finally getting to the point where a lot of my plants are starting to give me larger, more mature leaves and it's just such a good feeling because I moved... Wait, is it a year ago exactly today? What day is it? Oh my god, it was a year ago today that I signed the lease for this place, which is so crazy. If you have been here for a while, then you know I have moved so much. You guys have seen me in like so many different settings and like back and forth and da 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 da. If you know, you know. So it just feels so good to be like settled in somewhere. I don't have to like pick up and move my plants every few months anymore. Bless. Anyways, the reason I was saying this is because when I first moved here a year ago, I pretty much brought only my small plants or I chopped my plants and just brought cuttings. Um, the, the big plants that I brought with me were, it was only like a couple of them and the majority of my collection was made of like really small plants. But now, since time has passed, a lot of my plants are getting quite big. So yeah, I've been noticing many of them sizing up, but I have picked out... I think seven to share with you today. I already have some that have been, been giving me like big leaves um, that I'm not gonna be including in this video because they are reserved for my August favorites and I don't wanna be like repeating plants like one week after the other. I just wanna be able to show you more plants, more new things happening. So I'm just gonna go grab the first one. Okay, so the first one I am going to be showing off is my philodendron billetier. Okay, oh my goodness. This is one of the craziest plants in my collection. Like, look at him. There is no rhyme or reason here. He is just like going wherever the heck he wants. This doesn't even make any sense because uh, they're not all like pointing towards the light. They're all pointing in completely different directions. So I have no idea what he's doing, but <laughs> I still love him. This is the newest leaf that he's given me. It's so narrow. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it's so narrow. I feel like other people's billies are wider, but it is still beautiful. Look at that. So this just came out a couple of weeks ago and he is already working on a new one. If you can see there, he is currently pushing out a new leaf. So Lord knows he is just going to get crazier. I think that I am going to be repotting this plant soon and giving it like some sort of support stake or something. Yeah, I don't, this guy stumps me a little bit because I just like don't really have a great place to put him. Right now he's on the plant shelf in my bedroom and I actually like used a piece of twine to kind of like arrange his leaves nicely. But yeah, he's still a little bit of a pain in the butt because it's so hard to like grab other plants from around him because he's just like blocking everything and growing so crazy. I would love to be able to offer him a spot where he has more space to kind of like sprawl out. So maybe I will, maybe I'll put some thought into like where I could move him. But for now, I think he's fine. He's just a little bit wild. I have said before, and I will say it again, this is one of the toughest philodendron I have ever grown. Like there is nothing that can take this plant out. I'm serious. I've let it get so dry. Uh, it's lived among like so many different pests, but it's never actually gotten a pest. Like, I don't know what, what that's about. He's just like made of steel or something. Um, yeah, just like a very tough plant, always growing, doesn't care what type of conditions he's in. These were the leaves when I first got him. Um, I think I got him as a cutting and then just, just rooted him and grew him into this plant. And now, as you can see, the leaves are much bigger. So yeah, he's been, he's been super easy. And I've just been appreciating just how large he's getting. Yeah, I love this plant and I do look forward to getting him set up a little bit better. I need to pick out a pot and yeah, get them all situated staked up nicely. I think it's going to be really fun to watch him grow because these things can get like very massive. So yeah, looking forward to what he's going to look like another year from now. Okay, so some of you will know I have had my struggles with my Anthurium forgetii, mostly due to my own inconsistent watering habits. But even though the leaves are imperfect on him, they sure are getting large. So let me show you the newest leaf. It hasn't even hardened off yet, so I'm gonna be really gentle with it, but you just have to see like how big this thing is coming in. Okay, here it is. <laughs> Whoa! 
What the heck? It is so big. I don't know why, but I'm so shook. I was just not expecting this plant to get this big. I just, I just wasn't. Like I thought, I don't know why, but I thought the leaves were gonna like hang around this size and I was gonna be happy with that. I was like, oh, like that's so cute. Cause I love the leaf shape and I just like love the way Anthurium forgetii looks. But it gave me this leaf as the last one, um, which obviously is damaged. We're not gonna, we're not even gonna talk about it. Um, but I was like, wow, this is just like massive. And now this leaf coming in, is way bigger than that one. Like, I cannot with this. Oh my God, I wanna touch it so bad, but I'm not going to. <laughs> but oh my goodness, it's so pretty. And Therium leaves just blow my mind when they're like not hardened off yet and they're still just like very soft and like billowy like this. Like, oh, look at that. Just like, look at the way it moves. Like, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it. I wasn't even excited to see this leaf coming in because I could tell that it ripped right away, um, which you can see it was up here that it ripped. So I was kind of like bummed about that. But once I started seeing the size of it, I was like, holy crap, I don't even care if it's ripped. This is like amazing. I'll show it to you like backed up a little bit. Um, like how, how incredible is that? I am such a fan. <laughs> Such a fan. I don't even care if the leaves are damaged on this thing anymore. And this doesn't even get a ton of light either. This sits in my bedroom. It's kind of like beside the window, but it like really doesn't get like any direct light or anything like that. Like it's just like very like indirect, low to medium light. So I just like can't believe that it's giving this massive of leaves. I am a heavy fertilizer, so I would probably attribute um, the size maybe to that because I know that anthurium really appreciate being fertilized um, So that probably helps but yeah, I definitely need to work on just like watering as soon as this becomes dry That will help me out with leaves not like getting ripped and stuff when they come in anyways Yeah, anthurium forgetti eyes and he amazing Okay, this leaf I was also very shocked by. I discovered that this leaf had completely come out and hardened off when I got back from my camping trip and the size of it just blew me away. Um, I posted on my Instagram story so you may have seen it, but I recently moved this plant out of my Ikea greenhouse cabinet. So I just like did not have high expectations for it. Yeah, so it really surprised me. So this is the newest leaf on my philodendron SP Silver. Look at this that oh my gosh this leaf makes me feel some type of way you guys it is so perfect like it's literally perfection like look at this leaf oh, the like satin finish i cannot with like the texture and the pillowiness and the color like everything about this philodendron is so perfect and i've only had this since january so just over half a year now but so far my experience with it has been so positive, so good. Um, it's been super easy to grow and now I have it living outside of the cabinet and it seems super happy. So I'm just like very impressed with this plant. If this has been on your wish list, I would definitely go for it. <laughs> Not trying to be a bad influence, but um, yeah, I just think that this philodendron is phenomenal. And really different from anything that I have in my collection. I know I've said that before when I first got this plant, um, but it really is. Like I have a lot of, you know, vel velvety, velvet leaf philodendrons, but I just don't really have anything like this. Um, the closest would probably be my Dean McDowell, which is just not on this level. Like, I'm sorry, but it's just not. I can't wait to see how big these leaves can get. I feel like this is like a relatively new plant on the plant scene. So I feel like a lot of people have them like around this size right now. So I'm just really curious to see like how big these leaves get as it matures. I do have it on a moss pole as you can see and it is rooted into there. You can actually see some of the roots like even coming out on the other side. And this gets kind of like ambient lighting. It's on the floor in my bedroom. So it gets like ambient lighting from, I have two grow lights and it's kind of like in the middle on the floor. So it doesn't get like blasted with light or anything. When it was in my Ikea greenhouse cabinet, it was getting more light and there was some bleaching happening on the leaves. Like you can see there was some bleaching happening 
up here. So I feel that this is a philodendron that you have to be a little bit more careful um, with light, just like not too much harsh light. That's just been my experience at least. I know that there has been a lot of discussion about, well, the name for one, SP Silver versus SP Columbia. I just call it SP Silver. Um, I don't really know. That's what I bought it as and I just like, I don't know, like that name. So I'm just gonna roll with that one. Um, and then there's also been a lot of discussion about whether it's a climber or a crawler, or some people say that the silver is a climber and the Columbia is a crawler or vice versa. I don't really know. All I know is I'm super happy with the one that I got. I purchased this from North Shore Tropicals and yeah, I'm just, I've been so happy with it. So yeah, I just could not believe this new leaf. I should have put this in my August favorites actually, but here I am sharing it in this video. <laughs> Okay, so the next one is not a large plant by any means, but it has gone from being a wet stick to getting a like quite mature leaf shape in my opinion for like how old this plant is. And I have just been admiring this plant like crazy. I also posted this on my Instagram story. Uh, and that is my philodendron Florida ghost. Now I have been loving this plant so much. First of all, I've talked about this. I feel like I've talked about this plant a lot lately. So I'm sorry if you're getting sick of it, but um, I love the coloration on the leaves like it has a very kind of like minty look honestly this has like the look of what some people would call the philodendron florida ghost mint which it is not a separate thing it's just like there's different philodendron florida ghosts can look all type of ways they can look like very green very white very minty it just all depends on growing conditions but this is what mine looks like and this is the newest leaf right here so you can see it's been out for a couple weeks now and it's still like a very creamy color but the green the kind of like mintiness is starting to come in and i love the shape it is getting the more mature florida leaf shape oh my goodness it is just so pretty like look at this Side. that is just like so so gorgeous it's been so cool just like watching them gradually like look at the youngest well this is one of the youngest like look at that it doesn't even have any lobes yet or anything and then I think that this is like one of the oh I think that there's two I don't know if you're gonna be able to see but there's two really small leaves in the pot there and I think that those were like the first leaves that came off of the wet stick so and it's really cute that it still has those leaves um, so yeah, this plant has just been, uh, growing really steadily. It's been a year now, I think, since I potted up the wet stick and it's not like giant by any means, but I'm just really happy with the progression and with the quality of this plant. Um, this is my second philodendron Florida ghost. So I wasn't happy with the quality of my, or like, I don't know if the quality or like the genetics or whatever. I just like wasn't happy with it. And I also wasn't happy with this one. It took me like chopping and propping to be able to get a plant out of it that I liked. Um, I don't know what, what that means or what that's about, but I eventually have this one from a propagation of one of my old ones. Uh, this is in pond and needs to be repotted. It has roots like crazy. I actually just got new self-watering pots. So I'm going to be repotting this soon into one of those. Um, I'll probably be putting this into the crystal star soilless mix. Um, but yeah, it's just been doing so well and I'm so happy with it. And I cannot wait to see it grow and thrive into spooky season because it is just so suitable for that. What is Olive doing? She's just like, what are you doing, Boogie? What are you doing, honey pie? Hello. Okay, this next one I was also shocked by. I have not had this plant for very long. It's actually not even potted up properly yet. It's still rooting, or not rooting, it's rooted, but it's still in sphagnum moss. I recently hauled this. It is another anthurium, and the leaf is also still hardening off on this one, so I'm gonna be gentle with it, but I just have to show you guys this because I cannot believe how big it came in. So this is my Anthurium politiflorum, and this is the newest leaf right here. I'll give you a close up and then I'll back up so that you can <laughs> see how big it is. But oh my goodness, when this is hardened off, I will be measuring it to see how long it is. It's definitely longer than the last biggest one. So this was the, um, actually I don't even know if this was the last one, one of the last ones. Um, it gave me this one when I first got this plant, but it, that was like cut off somehow, like maybe from shipping or something. I don't know. 
Um, and then this was the leaf before that. So this was like the nicest one that I was like, oh my gosh, I couldn't even believe it. And now this big leaf that it has given me right now is bigger than this one. So, oh my goodness, I just like, I, pff, I'm speechless when it comes to this. Every time I look at it, I saw it coming in. It started coming in. I got home from my camping trip um, and I noticed it right when I got home. I was like, oh my gosh, like my politiflorum is giving me a new leaf. And then just like watching it over the past week or so, week or so it's been like getting bigger every day and I'm just yeah just blown away whenever i look at it like look at that oh my goodness it is so big ah i just can't believe it this feels really special because i usually buy a lot of plants small or i have like a lot of anthurium seedlings but this one came to me as a full-blown plant already so i'm getting to enjoy these like large leaves coming in and yeah i'm just so grateful for that and i really really appreciate this plant when once this is hardened off i am going to be um potting this i probably want to do like a clear orchid pot or something like that um which i need to order some of those but yeah, I'm just like, I'm just thrilled with this plant. This is living in my Ikea greenhouse cabinet. I think I am going to transition it out though. I hear that it does okay in like regular room humidity. So hopefully that will be fine. Maybe I'll move this to my bedroom actually so I can like really enjoy it in there. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I still have to put some thought into that. But yeah, I just, I, I love this leaf. Okay, so the next one might not be as exciting to some people, but it is very exciting to me because um, if you've been watching my channel this year, then you would know that I have been putting a lot of work into just like really growing my string ofs out and I've been doing a lot of propagating and like filling them out and um, just like trying to get them more lush and um, I have finally been getting the leaves that I have been searching for on my uh, string of spades here. So it is slowly becoming more full. This is a very small plant when I first, well, it, it started just from like a small cutting, but this is a very small plant earlier in the year. And now not only is it getting really long, but I am getting the like lush, plump, um, large leaves that I have been wanting. So let me show you. Okay. It's kind of hard to hold this plant, but this is what the leaves are looking like on this guy now. Like that's pretty, pretty large. Uh, they can definitely get bigger, but for my plant, this is really impressive. Like, yeah, just like large, beautiful leaves coming in on this guy. Those are still like relatively fresh, but ooh, these ones are nice. Like, look at that. Just like beautiful spades coming in on this guy. I just think it's so pretty. I hope that I am able to get more. Like I would love to have one of these like primar made up of primarily like those large leaves. I think that that would be so pretty. But yeah, it's really come a long way if you compare it to the small leaves that it started out with up here. So I've been really happy with that. Um, I think that this really started pumping out the new growth when I repotted into this larger pot. This was in like a very small, like half the size of this nursery pot up until a couple months ago when I repotted these. And now it's in just like a chunky mix and a four inch or like three. Yeah, I think this is four inch probably four inch nursery pot. Um, and yeah, it's just been super happy. This hangs in my south facing window. So gets a lot of light. I try not to let this stay dry for very long. Like as soon as it's dry, I give it a thorough watering. I have been fertilizing with pretty much every watering and yeah, just doing, doing my best to try to get my string ofs like really full and lush. And this was just one that I happened to notice recently that it was just like really, really looking good and really giving me larger foliage. So yeah, my string of spades. All right, so the last one that I'm gonna show you is one of my faves, of course. It is my beautiful painted lady. Now it's kind of hard to show the whole plant on the screen, but she is very full, very lush, and she actually has a second vine. She's like put off this completely new plant down here. Um, so this is the last leaf that that plant has given me. Oh, it is just so pretty. I'm so obsessed with the yellow in this plant. Like, oh my goodness, the pink and the yellow and the green together just looks so good. She actually just unfurled a new, well, it, are you well? 
it is um, in the process of unfurling a new leaf on that vine. But anyways, I wanted to talk more about the main vine. So as you go up, you can see that her leaves are like a pretty decent size. And again, I started this plant off from like a very small, like look at this, you guys, like very small leaves down here. Um, so just to watch her come in with a more mature leaf shape is really special. Um, so I just wanted to show off some of the new leaves that she has been giving me. So this is the second last leaf that she has put out. Oh my goodness, she is so hard to show on the camera, but it is really starting to get like that wider, more mature shape. So I was so happy when I saw this come in because this is the one before and it was kind of torn, but it also just like wasn't as wide as this one is. So yeah, I've really been appreciating that leaf. And then soon after this came out, like this still isn't even fully hardened. It still has that like soft feeling to it. But as soon as that leaf came out, it started pushing out a new leaf right here. And this one again, looks like it really has that like more mature shape. Like look at the top. It is so pretty. It still isn't like fully flat. Like she just unfurled a couple of days ago. Still not fully flat, but um, yeah, I can just tell that this leaf is gonna be so good. So I'm really excited. I had been like checking it every single day and like missing it and everything. I did not want anything to happen to this leaf. I just wanted it to come in like perfect. And it did, so I'm super happy with it. Again, I just like love the yellow tone, especially on the newer leaves. It is just so pretty. So yeah, love her so much. My beautiful philodendron painted lady. She is so easygoing. She doesn't get a ton of light or a ton of, um, I mean, I guess humidity is like pretty high in my house just naturally, but she doesn't get like supplemental light anymore or anything. I just have her chilling kind of like pulled back from my window. Anyways, that is gonna be it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you had a good time appreciating these plants and all of these beautiful large leaves that I'm getting. I have just been so happy with them. So happy with my collection in general, actually. Yeah, it's been a good growing season. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Also make sure you are subscribed to my channel for more planty content. I would love to have you. I have my merch and my Patreon both linked below if you wanted to support me further. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.